Hey, what up, you guys? New video, uh, case section of my CD collection. So, first one up is a Dutch promo thrash metal band by Kevlar. Uh, the EP is called Resurrection. Some, yeah, old school thrash influenced thrash metal. So. Uh, then, yeah, I even took it out of the thing. But this is Kebernock, I believe. That's the logo. Um, I think it's atmospheric black metal since it's from uh, Northern Silence Productions. It's the... That band, I believe. So, still need to put it in a, a CD case, but either way, I have put it onto my iTunes but I haven't listened to it that much, so keep it up. And some brutal death metal, catalepsy with um, music brings injuries. Well, I guess everybody knows catalepsy by now. Um, still need to grab their 2015 release um, out of Auto Chiopsis or something like that. In 2013, I don't know exactly. Uh, next one up, Corn Collected. Um, yeah, just a few best of by Corn. Uh, then we have some Tech Death in the form of the Kennedy Veil vale with Trinity of Falsehood. Always love the artwork of this one some Lord of the Rings tribute right there quality quality technical brutal death metal and then the next four are from the same band so I'll skip right through them kill switch engage with their self titles um, the end of heartache life of just breathing and the last one as daylight dies. Yeah. And we have the Dutch grindcore band Kaasgaaf with uh, Punanidectomy, the first ever release, and it's still one of the best grindcore that's ever come out of the Netherlands. And then their latest one, Obesi Taras, with a lot of Dutch. Um, memes mixed into it love this album then we have a dutch black metal band called Kjeld with the Tietholz Jean Skoft I believe it's Frisian and I don't know Frisian just two tracks but they're worth listening to then we have, yeah, can't see because of the Catholic service or something. Servix. Some avant garde black metal, I believe. Haven't listened to it that much, but either way, more stuff to listen to. Cranium with the art of female sodomy. Everybody knows Cranian if you love brutal death metal. Then Cranian with post mortal coital fixation. And Cranian, uh, the female, the art of female sodomy was actually my first brutal death metal album that I've got. So, a little bit of sentimental value. Then we have Corpse with their self titled EP, not the re release one, the first press. Uh, Dutch Brutal Death Metal um, or Slam Band, how do you want to call it? Released by Mormon Generation and Savard Records. Then their latest one, Unethical, one of the most brutal releases of the last decade. Certainly worth checking out if you're in for some brutal death metal. Then we have KFR with Anti, 
Prozzi uh, Power Maxine Ticardi, of course. Uh, this is the Dark Adversary Press. I believe there was a previous one as well, but didn't manage to grab it. Then we have Kerasphorus with Cloven Hooves at the Holocaust Dawn. I saw this logo and I thought I remembered this band and then it was released on Nuclear War Now and I was like, yeah, I need to grab this. So. Bought it. Then the next two are from the same band called Krieg with the church, which is a um, we call mini CD. Uh, five tracks on it Some really raw black metal and Then we have the destruction ritual by Krieg and This is a 11 track uh, Release released by red stream so, Really cool and the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are from the same band so I'll skip right through them uh, the first one up is Cataclysm with the Serenity Serenity in Fire, sorry. Prevail. The Prophecy. Epic the Poetry of War. In Arms of Devastation. Life in Deutschland. And Heaven's Venom. So that was my K section of my CD collection. I hope you will uh, watch my further video collection videos. So see you in the next video.